Hey guys, it's me, the Halloween channel. I don't know why I always wear, I keep wearing this in my videos, this Maryland shirt. Like, why do I wear it? It's very misleading. I live in California, not Maryland. I've, I've never even been to Maryland. Where did I even get this? Today, we're going to be doing a video on a totally original idea that I came up with by myself. It, it was all me. I mean, let's just give a round of applause to the genius I am. Okay, I stole this. I hear, I hear the like, oh, you stole? What the frick? Um, I stole this from uh, my good friend JHS Halloween. If you don't know who he is, he's a, another haunter on YouTube, um, and he makes great Halloween content, just like me. So if you like great Halloween content, subscribe to him and me. Uh, yeah, both of us. Kill two birds with one stone. I saw he did a video on this, um, and it is uh, possible returning props for Spirit Halloween 2021. Um, I think he did like a top 10 list on it. I'm actually gonna be here in front of the camera and just talking about some of the props I think will return in stores or online only, or maybe both, or I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just say I didn't steal it. Let's just say I just did the same idea as him. Yeah, let's just, it's, I didn't steal it. Still kind of stole it. Also, I did comment on his video like, oh, I'm gonna steal this idea. This is a great idea. Great video. I'm gonna steal it. I don't know if he knew I was being serious. I knew he saw the comment. I don't know if he knew uh, if I was, you know, actually being serious, but I am being serious. Because I'm doing it right now. Also, I do want to say that I actually didn't watch his video. Um, I did comment on it, but I didn't watch the video, and that's not because I'm not a fan of his videos. I, I love his videos. They're great. But, uh, I didn't watch this one because I didn't want to end up having the same opinions of him or subconsciously just saying the same uh, opinions uh, as him on the props that would return uh, or props that I think will return. I didn't want to have the same opinions of him um, and people would accuse me of copying him. Uh, so I, w I just want to say uh, I did not watch that video, so you can't accuse me of copying him. I mean, you still technically can, but that's just being a disgrace to society. And do you really want to be a disgrace to society? I mean, come on. So let's get into discussing my predictions for Spirit Halloween returning props for 2021. First on the list, Harvester of Souls. This is probably one of the best selling props of 2020, if not the best selling prop of 2020. Um, and I am almost 100% sure this guy will return. He was a great seller, a bit on the pricey side, $300. I would have gotten him, but you know, I have a low budget and he sold out before I could get him. And also I have a haunter friend who also has him. And I don't know if anybody else has this feeling, but when uh, me and one of my haunter friends has the have the same props and we live like really close to each other. I, I don't know. It just feels weird to me. So, yes. Yes. Yes? What is that? Stop touching my freaking face! So, Harvester of Souls, I'm pretty sure we'll return. One thing I want to say is, in a 2020, when we all first saw his Snoopy, we were like, Whoa, that is like so awesome! I'm just, I'm blinded by awesomeness. It's like so awesome. I can't handle it. But, you know, as I saw him in stores, and saw other people who had him, he's a techie prop, you know. So, He's pretty faulty. Oh, I think Techie is a great company, but they do tend to make a lot of faulty props. And uh, one thing that really sucked is you needed to buy a fog machine for him if you didn't have a fog machine. Um, he technically didn't need to buy one, but uh, you know, if you want him to actually make sense, you need to buy a fog machine if you don't already have one. And that's another like 50 bucks. So he's more like 350 bucks. And also one thing that really sucks about him, one of the faulty things, is the mechanism where the girl lifts up her head um, isn't that good, so it gets like worn out, and then the girl just kind of doesn't lift it up all the way, and the fog alignment is off, so he's just she's just breathing on its like chest. And another thing that sucks is a lot of times uh, the motor where he lifts her up um, gets worn out very easily, so it gets like he lifts her up, and then he's like, oh, she's too heavy, um, I'm gonna put her down a little bit, and then the fog alignment is off again. But you know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because. It's a five-year-old girl. She probably doesn't weigh that much. And, um, I mean, like, you're a demon. You can basically move things with a force. So, I don't know. I don't get it. But, yeah, I'm 
pretty really sure that um, he will return for uh, the 2021 Halloween season, but it's just my prediction. Maybe he won't. At least he will return online only. Still my prediction, but I'm pretty sure he will. Next up is the Hauntress. Um, now, surprisingly, uh, we've already gotten some information um, from Spirit Halloween, even though it's uh, only January. Well, I'm filming this in February, but we got this animation. <laughs> What? We got this information in January, late January, and um, it was that the Jumping Spiders and the Hauntress have returned. Uh, of course the Jumping Spiders are going to return, but the Hauntress uh, was confirmed to be returning, and she did raise her price $10, which we've seen on a bunch of other props. She went from $120 to $130, which I still think is a really good price for which I still think is a really good price for her. I mean, she's just like really inexpensive. Um, she's a really good price. She's not even that faulty. I'm pretty sure she's not that faulty. So I think she's a really good price. So this prop uh, is obviously gonna return and uh, you might be wondering, um, why did I put this prop on the list even if I knew it was re returning, I knew it was confirmed. Um, well, that is because I already thought of this, I already was pretty sure, like, yeah, she's gonna return, like, way back when she uh, was first released. Well, not first released, but, like, before Halloween 2020. Like, I already knew, like, yep, she's selling out. She's definitely gonna return for next year. Next up is Jumping Spiders. Um, I just put Jumping Spiders on this list. I don't know why I did it, because they return every year. But, uh, one thing I did want to point out is the Jumping Spiders are also confirmed to return, uh, but they did raise their original price from $90 to $100, um, but you know, they're all always reduced to $50, so you know, that didn't really matter. Um, So yeah, that's one thing I wanted to point out. Um, so they're already confirmed to be returning. But another thing I did want to say is um, Jumping Spider was released in 2011, the original Black Jumping Spider at Spirit Halloween. And you know, it's 10 years away from 2011 to 2021, which is this year. Since Uncle Charlie got a 10 year anniversary thing, I'm thinking may maybe we might get a 10 year anniversary thing with uh, Jumping Spider, kind of different than Uncle Charlie. Maybe they'll do like, a new reskin Jumping Spider, which, you know, won't be too unique either because we just got one of those last year. But I don't know, maybe they'll do something special with him. So, you know, we'll see. Next on the list is Punctured Pete. So, uh, next is Punctured Pete, and this is a prop, uh, that is sold for the Spirit of Halloween 2020 season, um, which, you know, is really obvious. I, we get it. I don't need to say that. He was $170, and I'm feeling like if he returns next year, which he probably will, probably in stores, actually, at least online only, but, you know, probably, I'm thinking he'll return in stores, too, and I'm thinking he'll, uh, his price will raise to $180, because uh, I think $170 is a really good price, so I feel like Spirit would usually price something like him at, like, $180. So he might, uh, his price might get raised to 180. We'll see about that, that's my prediction. So I'm pretty sure he'll return. He was a pretty good seller. He wasn't actually on my top 10 list, even though I do like him a lot, but there were so many props this year that I couldn't put on my top 10 list. Um, so, you know, he's, he's just um, an okay prop for me, more than okay, he's actually really good. Um, but, you know, kind of a generic zombie prop. Not that I don't like generic zombie props. I do have Flesh Eating Zombie who I just got for my birthday. Um, also, I you will see an unboxing of him soon because when I got him, I filmed an unboxing and all my footage got deleted and that was very sad. So you'll be seeing an unboxing of him soon, possibly next week. Next on the list is Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler was a really good seller in 2020. He sold out pretty quickly. This might be an unpopular opinion. No, it is an unpopular opinion, but I kind of hate him. Before, before you type in the comments, oh, oh, I, what is wrong with you? I now hate you because you hate Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, I love Nightcrawler. Like, what is wrong with you? I'm sure not a few people do that. But just in case, um, Nightcrawler is a prop that when I first saw his sneak peek, I was like, hmm, he's pretty cool. $200, a bit on the pricey side, um, but you know, pretty cool. Then when I saw him in stores, um, I actually never ended up seeing him in stores, but I saw, um, other people's videos of him in stores, um, and I was like, oh, I hate him. Like, what his proportions are just 
weird. I don't get it. His feet and his hands are like the same hands and he's like a monkey and his leg, his like limbs are so skinny and they're so long and he's just weird and then he's got this big long mouth and he's supposed to be like a teenager and he's got this long like emo hair and his mouth just looks kind of stupid and like you know I, I, I don't know but then um, later in the year like uh, after the Halloween season I kind of hated him like all throughout Halloween season um, and uh, finally like in December I kept seeing videos of him I was like Maybe I should give him a chance. And I looked, uh, I looked deeper into him, saw a bunch of videos of him, and I'm like, you know what? He is actually kind of scary. I think he's a good jump scare. You know, kind of slow, but I think you can really get some people. You know, pretty cool. $200 again, like, you know, that's kind of pricey. But, you know, um, I'm not going to get him or anything, but he probably re will return because he was a really good seller um, last year. So, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll see about it. Next on the list, I think this is like the last five. Pee Woo Clown is the next one. And this guy wasn't the best seller. Um, I thought he'd be more of a good seller because Super Halloween usually does really well with their clowns. Um, but Pee Woo Clown wasn't as good of a seller as like, uh, you know, all the other props we discussed. So he was a good prop. Uh, I wanted to get him, but I didn't actually end up getting him because, you know, I don't have the biggest budget. But, uh, I do, I do like Peekaboo Clown. Uh, again, like his, his price, a little bit high. Come on, spirit, you gotta lower your prices. People are gonna stop buying from you. But Peekaboo Clown, I, I really like. So, um, I think Peekaboo Clown will return online only. I don't think he'll return in stores. Um, he didn't sell out during the Halloween season. But uh, later in like November, I was gonna get him for my birthday, but uh, a little while before my birthday, he did sell out. So I ended up getting Flesh Eating Zombie instead. Next on the list is Fright in the Box. Now this one might return in stores because this was a really good seller. I personally don't like him too much. He's a little faulty. Um, I mean, it's Crazy Create, which is kind of like Faulty City. So, you know, um, but Crazy Create uh, does make a lot of faulty props, but again, their props are really cool. Um, and Fright in the Box is a really good prop. His jump scare on a lot of them is a little slow, um, but I do like the turning handle. The design of the box is cool. The face is really big. The box is really big. He's just big. He's probably, probably going to return because he sold out during the season um, and he's yet to be back in stock. Angeline is the next prop uh, on the list. And uh, most of you guys are probably like, what the frick? Angeline was one of the worst props of 2020. Quotes like, uh, a lot of people think she's like one of the worst of 2020 along with Mommy's Favorite and Johnny Punk. And um, although, yes, she is, you know, kind of weird. She looks like a fish. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But uh, she actually, for some reason, did sell out during the season. Uh, she was, uh, then later restocked pretty quickly, um, and I'm pretty sure she's currently on the website right now, but, um, I think she will return, and, uh, one of the reasons I think she will return is because, uh, in Roblox Spirit Halloween, um, which I did a video on last week, Roblox Spirit Halloween, like, ranking all the 2021 prop ideas, um, in their store, uh, they predicted that uh, Angeline would return for the 2021 season, and they said that she sold out during the season. And I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe maybe she will. Um, so I think she will at least return online, only they thought she would return in stores. I, I disagree. I don't think she'll return in stores, but, um, you know, possibly online only, um, or at least if she become, at least if she's out of stock um, before, you know, before sneak peek start. Uh, next one uh, is Uncle Charlie. So Uncle Charlie, the 2020 model, uh, surprisingly, very surprisingly, it was very surprising to me, I stopped saying surprising, that he did not sell out during the season. He didn't sell out until uh, like November, I think, and he's yet to be back in stock. 
Um, I don't think he'll return in stores because he didn't sell out during the season. I think the only reason he didn't sell out during the season is because they probably just had a ton of him in stock because they expected um, him to sell out really quickly. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I think. Um, but Uncle Charlie, I think, will return online only. Um, so, yeah. I think he'll return. And he's a great prop. Uh, and I have him. And I like him. And mine's face is deformed, which I'm still kind of sad about. Um, but, yeah. Okay, this is the last one on the list. And it is Sewer Varmint. Now, I think this will return. I think these guys will return. Um, if you don't know what Sewer Varmint is, then I don't know why you'd be even watching this video. But uh, Sewer Varmint is a prop from last year um, who is only 16 inches tall and he's $130. Like, what the heck, Spirit? Um, I didn't get that at all. And I kind of really hated him, like, even more than Nightcrawler um, when I first saw him. But then in stores, I'm like, okay, he's not that bad. He looks pretty cool. He's bigger than I thought. But again, like, I don't know why he's so expensive. I feel like he's only worth, like, $60. Um, but still a cool prop. I do like him. And I think he will return because I'm pretty sure he did sell out during the season. I don't know if he's in stock currently, but, uh, you know, he's not, he's not too bad. So I'm assuming he will return online only, probably not in stores, but online only. Um, so those are my uh, thoughts uh, or my predictions on what will return uh, to Spirit Halloween for the 2020 season in stores and online. Um, tell me in the comments what you think, what props you think will return uh, in, uh, will return for in stores, online only, whatever, whatever you think uh, for Spirit Halloween. Um, but yeah, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next week for another special video. And yeah. That's it. Goodbye.